Welcome in. Today we're going to be going over more tips for Corekeeper. I already did a first video on this. This is just part two. So if you haven't seen that one, go ahead and check my last video. And now let's just go ahead and get to the tips. Firstly, I just want to explain Magic Berry because I see some people don't know what it is. It's usually on mage sets. So right here I have the Sorcerer's set. It says Magic Barrier. The best way I can explain it is it's an overshield. It's like an, a health over your original health. So if you get hit, it'll take the health from the overshield instead of your base health. So look at this. All right, let me see. I have 135. It'll take it from there before it even takes your health. So it's kind of like armor in the way that it kind of like um, protects your health. Then after a while, it just heals it right back if you're not getting hit or anything. Say like five, what is that? About like five seconds, it'll start healing right back. So that's generally what Magic Barrier is. Just basically an overshield. Now, while we're here, I want to talk about the Fireball Staff. This is a really early game weapon you could get. That's really good for just mage. Mage builds, just any any kind of build really because it has a lot already it has a lot of magic damage it has burn applied to it and a secondary projectile so say i don't have enough mining power for like some walls all i have to do is just right click charge it it breaks that wall and i've noticed even some in-game walls, not like the really in-game walls, but some of the in-game walls, like I could break this, break, break them with just this weapon for some reason. I don't know exactly what the mining power is, but if you don't have enough mining power, just use this. It'll just break walls and everything. And it does a lot of damage too. Now, if you want this, just get it from these guys. Let me see right down here. These guys that were hitting me earlier, you get from these guys. I'm going to drop randomly. They don't drop at all. Um, not as much as I would think, but they do drop. So you can sit there and farm for them or just could hope to get one and this thing you can take this throughout the whole game I'm, I'm telling you right now i i still use it now just to break some walls or something so get that this thing will carry you now the next one i want to talk about is transmog and how to put you know different armor and not look like your base armor that you have on so you just want to go up here you have a copper um workbench go to the carpenter's table once you have that Make a dresser and then you'll be able to put whatever you want. Right now I have a pumpkin on. If you don't want to look like your armor, just put whatever you want right here for that fashion. Uh, next, I want to go over the upgrade system. So you get the upgrade, um, upgrade station when you have a Scarlet Workbench. So once you have that and you build it, you go right here and you can upgrade any weapon you want. So what I've noticed, it takes ancient coins and bars usually. What I've noticed is that usually when, if you upgrade a higher level weapon, it's not going to be good to do because it costs a lot of money. But if you upgrade a super low level weapon, it'll make it do crazy damage for some reason. I don't know if it's the scaling that this game has with the lower level weapons, but this musket, I leveled it up to level 14 and this thing does crazy damage. I have a crit build going on right now, so I could hit like 4,000 to 3,000 every, like all the time, really. So if you ever need to upgrade something and you can also upgrade your armor too, I forgot to say. Upgrading lower level things all the way up to like a higher level is just crazy. So just think about that and things like this will get you really far in the game. Uh, next thing I want to go over is the skill tree. 
So the skill tree is basically where you get skills. And you can level them up just by mining. It says right here is mining. Just by running, just by doing melee combat, killing things, crafting, all these other things. And the max you can have is five. Five rows each. So if I go over here, I'm going to reset it. If I upgrade this, it'll expand to which side I want. And what you have to do is decide which side you want. So if I pick this one, it'll expand this side. And if I pick this one, it'll expand this side. So with these, you have to choose carefully which ones you want. And if you don't care to choose carefully, you could just reset it just for 200 coins and not have to worry about it. Basically, you choose certain skills and you use those skills. It seems they take a long time to <laughs> to level up for some reason if you're not using like especially magic and summoning. But if you're doing that all the time, it'll just level up over time. So you don't have to worry about it. Now, speaking of skill trees, pets also have skill trees. Like say with this bird, I have this bird and it's leveled up to max 10. It has all of these perks. I was trying to get like full crit on all of them. And I got four. I wanted to get five, but this is generally what I wanted. What you see here, it's not going to be the same on every single pet. So it's kind of like RNG with the skills that you're going to get with every other pet. So this pet, I said it has four crit. If I go to this bird, it changes. Each pet will change. It's just random perks. So you're kind of going to have to farm. Well, not farm, but with, with whatever pet you get, you're just going to have to find out if you're going to get the one you want. Next, I want to go over waypoints. You probably already know, but there's waypoints all around the map. If I go over here, oh, excuse me. This is the first waypoint that you're going to get in the map. One of these is around the world, just in random places. And what I've noticed is it's right outside of boss arenas. So let me go down here. If you find that there's going to be a boss arena by it, um, that you just stumbled across, please look for the waypoints before just, you know, teleporting out or something. Because this will save you so much time from just running around like right here. This is one of the, the Titan bosses. Waypoint right next to the arena. If I go over here, let me see. Ocean boss. Waypoint right outside the arena. And go in here. See this is the boss arena. Waypoint right over here. I'm glad this happened that they added this. So whenever you find, like I said earlier, whenever you find a boss arena, just look for the waypoint first, and then teleport. Uh, Tele excuse me, teleport back. This one for a slime boss too. I don't know if it's on every single boss, but I fought a lot of bosses and it's do it does seem like there is one on every single outside of one every single arena. Next thing I want to go over is shields. So a lot of people don't know is that you can parry with the shield. You know, kind of like those Souls games and everything. You can parry with them. I'm going to go up here and create one. Even with the basic ones. See, this one I have a stronger one. I'm going to put on a basic one for you guys. So right here, I have this slime. It's going to start attacking me. If I block right before it attacks, it'll parry it. And it'll stun it right away. So let's say good way to not take any damage, especially if you're just a beginner player. It already just blocks. Sorry, I have thorns. <laughs> it blocks even if you don't parry like 70% of the damage. But 
if you get really good at this, you don't even have to worry about taking any damage at all. Sometimes it's hard because, yeah, they kind of swing fast. Even, yeah, even ranged attacks, you can parry them. Don't take any damage. Parry people who are just charging you. Damn, really easy. Next, I want to talk about loadouts again, but this time with hotkeys. See what here, you could just switch between different loadouts. I could switch them without even clicking on them. See, look, mining, my main build. So I, I actually didn't even know this, but I learned this from uh, one of the comments in the last video from Majestic Sloth of Doom 7445. You can go in your settings, controls, go all the way down to equip loadouts. Set whatever key you want, and you can just switch different loadouts on the fly without even clicking on them. This helps because if I'm mining, I could just, if I see like a harder wall, so I'm just switch to my mining build. Next thing I wanna go over is always bringing a musical instrument. Doesn't matter which one you, you want. Right now I have a flute. I'm gonna take it right over here and show you guys. You need these to open up a certain wall. Right here I have uh, this one. I kind of mined this one out already, so don't pay attention to the back. But you'll come across these right here, and you need a musical instrument just to open the wall and get behind, like, get the chest behind it. So how this works is you're going to need to right click, and it glows, and you're going to need to play certain notes to open the door. Now. I'm not a musical person. So what I've noticed is if you're a musical person, you're going to get this right away, but play some, just press some keys. See that one glue, I'm a glue, <laughs> that one glowed right there. And since that glowed, you're going to want all these to glow and then it'll open the door. Just try on error. And if you get it wrong, it's just going to go right back. So I kind of just, if I get one right, I write it down. All this is just trial and error. Now next I want to go over drills. So these drills are for those big ores that you find that you could, it says you can only mine it with the drill. So go ahead and get these. And then as you get, you progress through the game, you'll get a stronger version, but really just get these if you're at just beginning and then buy this uh, electrical generator, it'll help you with the electricity or you can just do lever and some electrical wires. Now, once you have those, I'm gonna go over here. This is generally what you're gonna do as a beginner. Put them around these. So the more drills you have, it's the faster it's just gonna drill the ores. Even if you have a little bit, it doesn't really matter. You're just a beginner, so. As you progress the game, you'll get more. But generally, just have these. Use the lever, it'll just turn them on right there. Start mining. And then let me see, go with the electrical wire. Put these just in the corners. You really only need two and then it activates all of them. So as a big, so as a beginner, this is really all is it gonna look like. It'll pop out, I don't know, <laughs> it's gonna take a while, but it'll pop out. So as you see right there, it pops out right behind the drill, wherever it drilled. And then you can just go ahead and pick up your ore. But if you want an advanced version, I'll show you the advanced version. I'll go ahead and build it.
So how this advanced version is going to work is it's going to mine the ore. It's going to go along the, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's going to go along the conveyor belts. It'll go right here to this, uh, I forgot what it's called, this grabber. It's going to put it right into the chest. So all you need to do is just come over here and just grab it from the chest. Next, I want to go over these little figurines that you get throughout the game from different enemies. Whatever you do, do not get rid of these. These can be used. The game does not tell you. I'm going to go ahead and go over here and show you guys. These can be used to spawn the enemy that the figurine is. So right now I have the Truman one. It'll spawn it. What I mean is over here. Towards the end game, you'll get these thing called, um, I forgot what they're called, materializers. And what you can do is put it down, take this figurine, go over here, push a little lever. It'll spawn them directly from it. Now, I don't know what, these are mainly for if you just want to I don't know, play around to spawn people for your friends to just play around. But really, these count as XP. These enemies that you spawn. So you can just stay here and level all these things up. Well, not all of them. Yeah, you can't do fishing or all this stuff, other stuff. But you can use these just for weapon XP, melee, all the other stuff. It's super helpful. And that goes for whatever figurine you want. Now, next thing I want to go over is beds. Um, generally, when you start the game, you're going to be spawning right at the core. And when you die, you're going to just spawn right there again. But once you make a bed, and I usually like to make a little house, a little mini house. If there's no enemies nearby, you can just sleep in it and you'll respawn right there on the bed. So say, I don't know, I'm going into an area that I have no idea about and I don't know if I'm going to die. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to build like a little mini house, sleep in it. Maybe get my health a little bit and then jump right in what exactly I was doing before. And I'm gonna see if I could die over here and put on uh, my weak armor. See if they kill me. Bam, respawn right there. And you, you can't sleep when you're near enemies. So just keep that in mind, but this is super helpful. Now, last thing I want to go over is buckets. It says right here that I can transport water, but it's not just water. You can transport anything, lava, shimmering water, whatever you want. See right here, it's all from the bucket. I just took some lava. See, it says it doesn't say lava for some reason, but you can see it. And I took it and I just put it all right here around my teleporter. That's basically all you can do with this uh, bucket. Thanks for some interesting uh, designs. And that's going to be it for the video. If you have any more tips that I missed, because I think I missed a lot, uh, just put it down in the comments. Help out some people down below. And that's going to be it for me. Thanks for watching.